This is Betraying the Martyrs. This is their last song and last music video as a band. So it's actually a two part with two songs. So it's I Ray plus The Veil. So yeah, the band has decided to break up. Betraying the Martyrs has a weird history because they uh, they had some bangers back in the day. Man Made Disaster, I think is still like their most popular song, but it's still my favorite song for them. Hearing Aaron Matz in that symphonic metalcore deathcore song was so cool. Yeah, and Aaron Matz has left the band and he's now in 1056 and they seem to be doing really well in 1056. So Betraying the Martyrs has had to find a new vocalist and they have but it seems like they decided to throw in the towel already. So uh, this is their send off song, their swan song, if you will. So let's check it out again. This is Iray plus the veil. Cool shots already. He's got nice hair. Oh, oh, ooh, this one's dark. Trucker bird making a return. What? <laughs> oh, my hat. What the hell? What the hell? Tim Robinson fans, anybody? Dude, that was sick. So yeah, this is like a... Uh, so this is Buster mixing. Okay. Buster, dude. Chill out, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> Starting strong, that sounds really cool. That sounds like an ending to the song. The Veil, okay. So IRA was just a cool breakdown track. Dude, the riffs are sick. I'm glad we're not getting poppy cleans or something in the verse. Something a little bit more moody. Have you lost your 
Good vocal tone there. Dude, why is this their final song? <laughs> This makes no sense to me. It should be a their comeback song. Barely on a heavy track like this. Dude can fucking sing too. Five banger easy nine nine point five bro like i was saying this it's crazy how this is a send-off song it feels much more of like an amazing comeback track and i wish that was the case because this is the best song that i've heard since man-made disaster mind you i have fallen off the discography quite a bit but this shows potential like so much potential man Damn, this was so hard hitting. This was so huge and grand and the music video was well done. It felt so passionate. And I think the reason is because it's their send off song. So they really went all out on this. It sucks, but it also goes to show when there's certain pressure that bands or musicians feel, it creates even more real art, you know? It really, I think that's why this song was so good too, is because it really was them just like, let's fucking end on a bang. And they did. This did not disappoint. I am very impressed with this song. And it's also slightly disappointing at the same time that this is their final track. So let's break it down through the pros and cons. Number one pro, I think the biggest takeaway for me was the unpredictable flow to this song is what I absolutely love. I know I sound like a broken record when I talk about flow and structures and all that stuff. But to me, it's so cool because you just don't know what to expect and when there's so many bands that are following a formula and when a band that has similar sounding ideas but does a like a certain progression that just throws the listener off their like off their feet like this is what that song did i don't even understand the actual dedicated chorus section to this song or what the verse was or anything and i love that i love 
the flow to this track it was so surprising another pro that i have is just the vocals were huge man like it sucks that this is the new vocalist and really i felt like the song really showcased the power in his voice and also he had really nice like melodic cleans that were just mellow and very very nice but like there was so much power in his harsh vocals and his like sane scream style of vocal too it just it sucks that this this guy has so much potential obviously he can join other bands but you know obviously we heard in this song how good he was another pro is i love the inclusion of the two tracks here i think some of these songs or music videos actually work better when it feels like we're watching like a short film you know um sometimes music videos where it's just a band playing in front of like a camera like those are fine like they work obviously but something about where it tells a story and there's two chapters like in this song two songs there's something a little bit more gripping from a visual perspective too right so I, I like the inclusion of the two songs here and make it like one and uh another pro is the breakdown itself was so heavy and it's buster's mix man buster i'm glad that you guys told me but even if you didn't tell me i would have probably like picked it out because i'm like what is this buster because it's got that bass heavy sounding mix with just big crunch sounds he has a certain way of mixing that's unlike anybody else but like even the guitars have certain feedback which i like the feedback in the guitars actually make the music feel more real right like instead of like uh, a lot of the process stuff that we're hearing from guitars like everything sounds so perfect but here they let the feedback just come out between those chugs and i feel like that's what makes it feel more real and intense uh let's move on to the cons and no cons this was a fucking banger and a half for me so my rating for this my ratings change over time, but I'm going to give it an 8.6. 8.6 is how I'm feeling with Betraying the Martyrs, IRA plus The Veil. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, so comment down below. Spice up my life. Guys, what you think of this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you got to this point in the video and haven't clicked off yet, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave like to the video. Also, comment down below. Guys, give me a big old funny word. You got it, old bunny. Shaboing boy. <laughs> That's a really funny word. Comment down below, Shaboing Boy. And if you do, that means you watch the entire video. And I'll know, so I'll heart your comment. But are that thing we've seen. Until next time. Peace.